What's up guys? You're watching SPP TV. Today we're going to be working on the S10 some more. We're finally going to get at that fuse box, so let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing I have to do is the glove box door from the 55 Chevy Dash. And I actually had uh, switches on here before for when it had nitrous. So I have to get rid of that. And then I'm going to have to put this on the the dash to sort of figure out. My plan is to um, mount that fuse box somewhere like inside the dash here. Here's the fuse box that I got. It's from Princess Auto. It's, it's simple. And then of course, I also have to run a couple relays. So uh, the first thing I'm doing is just getting this off and then I'll get it in the truck and then start figuring out where that fuse box is gonna go. I got the glove box mounted. So what I've made is I just took cardboard and I cut out a template so depending on how you want it off, obviously something like this. So it's gonna go there, there, kind of like that. So the relays will sit up there, the fuse box will go right there. And then I have uh, constant power, which I'm just running one of these, like a fuse like this, because the relay or the fuse box I got doesn't have, it only has like either key power or constant power. So it's kind of, but it's the one that uh, Mike uses and it's a good deal. So, but it, it's either one or the other. And the, the one that had both, so you could have like in my car, I put one that can have key power and constant power, but that one's really big and it has tons of fuses that I don't need. So it's almost kind of pointless. I'm gonna make that on a metal and then all the uh, pieces are gonna go on there. So now that this is, this is test fit nice and that's pretty much what I want. I'm just going to transfer that onto metal, cut it out, bend it, and then it'll fit it in the truck. All right, so now you can see here's the cardboard template that I made. I just transferred onto metal, and now I have to bend it here and here and here, which I'll just use my vise for because I don't have a metal brake. Yeah, because that's what you do for your job. Like I can see spending money on a good torque wrench because you're a certain, mechanic certain and you things. do it every day. But I can't see spending that kind of money to do like, you're just building a few engines once in a while. You need an $800 fucking snap on torque wrench. You don't need one. It's just peace of mind. Oh my God, peace of mind. When you can get one for like 80 bucks maybe that does the same thing. You're paying for the fucking name, man. Just like your snap on one, just like your Honda oil, and your, just like your Honda oil. Just came for the, came for the name. That's what they say to use. That's what I put in. Of course they say to use it because they want you to spend their money. That oil is probably made by fucking Esso, and it says Honda on it. And you're like, all right, take my money. Uh, I think it's Bullshit! It's we not. It we looked it up on it. It's made by like. It's still. It's still not made by Honda in fucking the Japan. No, but it meets their quality. Oh, fuck. So does all the other oil. I mean, I don't care. Do what you want. It's your money. I just think it's, it's a like little silly. Two bucks an oil change. Oh yeah, right. Two bucks a liter, easy. <laughs> if not more. Like the Brad Pan oil that you use and stuff, I can understand that. It's race oil, it's blah, yeah. blah, blah, but... Every time I take the motor part, the bearing looks... To spend money on bearing. fucking Honda oil filters and Honda oil, just that seems ridiculous to me. But that's, that's up to you, I guess. I run Ford filters and Ford oil. And you want to buy an $800 torque wrench to do the same thing an $80 one does? Then I can get her. I could buy, I could buy like a $500 metal brake bend this metal, but I just did it with my vice. See? Same thing. Yeah, but you're comparing fucking bending metal to, like... It's very precise. Things. Clearance specs and all that. Oh, please. Two, 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 four, what I'm two. saying is a lot of people don't use fancy, expensive tools, and they seem to do just fine. And their engines stay together That's and true. they go fast, so... That's what they make plastic gauge for, too. Yeah. numbers so this is gonna go on here I already drilled the holes and then this one is gonna go here like that and then the uh, map sensor I'm gonna put right there and then I got two relay these things so they're gonna go there 
get bolted on and then relays will go in there and that'll all fit in the glove box nice so uh, yeah I'm gonna paint this up and start putting it together all right so here's what I came up with here's the fuse box the uh, map sensor the fuse for the constant power and the two relays and that's ready to go in there so there's the fuse block so you got your uh, wires for the the injectors together in one you got your wires for the PCM and the coils in another one and then you got your O2 sensors and uh, key power for the check engine light on that third one which leaves me with one if I need to add anything and then uh, the constant power is that fuse right there and then the relays the one relay controls the fuel pump the other relay controls power to this block so that it's getting a good like 12 volt power source constant power but it's only when the key's on so when the, the key energizes the relay which energizes this thing and then you got uh, fuse power so I'm gonna still zip tie these wires up nice and stuff like that but uh, pretty much that part is done the only as you can see the wires I have left here for the transmission and um, one that's for the fan this one here is for the OBD2 port and then I got wires for the check engine light down there that I still have to hook up which I can hook up to my factory uh, 55 dash the oil light is how I had it on the tune port so I'm gonna do that again on that one all right so it's the uh, next day I'm out here working again uh, what I'm doing today is the transmission wiring I kind of like not screwed up but I guess I didn't realize that in this harness there is actually like two yellows and two reds so I wasn't sure which yellow was which so I had to pull the uh, the plug off the back of the computer again and then I organized them and sorted through them to figure out which ones were which now of course if you were doing this and you hadn't cut the plug off the transmission plug then you wouldn't have to worry about this but when I took this harness out the junkyard I couldn't get underneath the truck to get that harness so I ended up just cutting it off and then this is the one from the 4L80 which a couple of the wires are a different color so I had to figure out exactly which one so I did that last night I figured figured out exactly which each one of these wires is and then uh, I figured out today what these ones were like I said there was only the two reds the two yellows that I had to make sure I had the right ones and then there's a black in this one and then these wires here are for that range selector uh, so there's four wires I had to figure out which wires um, were those because there's a yellow but for the range selector it's yellow without a black stripe and those ones are yellow with a black stripe and then there was just there's a black on each one so I wanted to make sure I had the right black one now my next plan is to take the carpet out or pull it out or pull it back or whatever so I can get underneath the floor then I gotta come up with a plan of where I'm gonna run these wires through to the transmission drill a hole find a grommet run the wires through and then shorten them to the right length and solder them all back together for the transmission so that's what I'm gonna do now I got the wiring all kind of figured out here so now it's in this cluster and I actually put it in some of that wrap so that whatever's gonna be where you can see it under the dash so I found this grommet just in my box of grommets I actually cut it down a little bit and I drilled this hole out bigger pretty much the perfect size my plan is to drill a big hole and push this through it I put the shifter back in I marked it where the the console goes so I think I'm gonna just put it up here and then I'll have the wires snake through there down to the transmission I also when I took the carpet out I kind of knew there was a little bit of rust in the floor uh, but now I noticed there's actually there's a big hole right here and uh, here it's a little rusty so I'm gonna have to uh, do some about that I kind of knew I'd probably have to do a little floor repair here it's a little worse than I thought but shouldn't be a big deal so now I'm gonna uh, drill the hole and get this grommet in there there is the uh, the hole that's what she said <laughs> get the grommet out of there so I drilled the hole with the biggest drill bit that I had and then I just used die grinder to open it up the rest of the way. And so now, uh, I don't wanna push it right in there, but the grommet fits in there perfect. And then uh, there's the wires running through and down to the transmission. The next thing I'm gonna do is to shorten up all the wires. And I actually made the hole 
uh, I don't know where I put it now, but I made the hole big enough so that the uh, plug for the transmission will actually fit through the hole. So what I'm gonna do is go underneath, cut the wires to the right length, pull them back through the hole, and then solder them all, and then I'll be able to slip it through. And this way, if I need to pull the harness out at any point, I'll be able to get in there. So I got really tired of uh, holding that stupid flashlight to show you guys stuff and also see stuff myself. So I quickly went out to Walmart and I bought this little light, which is pretty crazy. It was only like 19 bucks, but uh, as you can see, it is pretty bright. So uh, yeah, we should be able to see things a lot better now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go under here, under the truck. There's the plug and there's the one sensor and the other sensors over here and here's the wire. So what I'm going to do now is just figure out where the wires fit the best, cut them, and then I'll pull the harness out of there and then be able to solder all the wires back on. All right, so there you can see the wires. They're all soldered and covered. I ran out of this kind of black stuff, so I actually ended up using, I had some of this plasticky stuff, which is probably better for underneath the truck anyways. So the only thing I still have to hook up, those four little wires there are for this, uh, range selector thing. Can't hook those up until I put it under there because uh, this thing won't fit through the hole in the firewall or in the floor pan, I mean. So uh, now I'm gonna fit the wires through and the grommet through, plug everything in, and then I'll just have to hook up those and that'll be it for the transmission. So there you can see the range selector all plugged in, the main plug, and then the sensor back there. There's a sensor up there and everything's zip tied. Nice and tight and out of the way. And I love this new light because we can see everything now. So uh, yeah, that's all done. Now that the transmission uh, wiring is done, and actually here, I'll pull the carpet back quick and I'll show you how that grommet is in there. So that worked out really nice. Pretty much all the wires left are just what's here. Um, which is the check engine light, the OBD2 port, the tack, the one that goes to the brake pedal to unlock the uh, torque converter. Most of that stuff's gonna have to wait. I gotta get an OBD2 plug from the junkyard because I think I got one, but I don't know where I put it. And then the uh, check engine light is when I put the dash back together and also that brake switch, same thing. So that stuff's gonna wait. So. Pretty much the wiring is done. That's gonna be it for this video today. Next time we're gonna get started on the intake and uh, decapping the injectors and getting the fuel system done. Stay tuned for that. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and uh, check you later.